just joining my channel for the first time, please do not forget to smash on the subscribe button below this video to join this community, a community of capacity building. And I'm your coach, Coach Wilfred Asuko on Common Sense with Freddy. Here, I share capacity building related subjects. I share life nuggets that will help you make informed decision as a coach. You see, I have been coaching for over a decade and I can tell you it's fun for me. I love it so very much. And today I'm going to be sharing something very unique because a lot of people have been asking me, Wilfred, why did you leave piloting? Why did you transition out of piloting to becoming an agile coach or becoming an IT consultant? Listen, there is no smoke without a fire. I must tell you that. And you will not see a frog running in the daytime without something chasing it. Preferably, it's being chased by a snake. So you can be sure that something would have triggered me to transition from being an airline pilot to becoming an IT consultant that I am today. And it's quite fulfilling. It's quite interesting, I must share with you, that I, I listen, I've gone for big careers, careers that are like unique in their own, you know, area. I go for those careers that would not just give me fulfillment, but give me some good money in my pocket. Now, these two careers are like top notch. And somehow I got into the world of aviation when I completed college. I didn't have a job at the time and I needed something to me. And airline seems to have been one of those options that you would not look into if you are old, if you are um, a graduate trainee. And listen, all they care about is you, are, you have a degree, you are good looking, and you can speak good English. And there you are. They hired me, they trained me, and I found myself becoming an airline cabin crew. After working for a while as a cabin crew, listen, Shima being is insatiable. I was looking for something to do and to grow and to scale. And knowing that the pilot is earning so much that I'm being paid 10% of his income, I was like, you know what? I need to be a pilot. So if this plane should go down, I want to die as a rich man. You know what I mean? I can be a pilot. So the motive was to make the money as an airline pilot fly in my home country in Nigeria. You know what I mean? So that's how the journey and the, you know, the planning, the zeal, all the strategizing on becoming an airline pilot came into the picture. But you see, while I was thinking one side, my creator was thinking something else for me. And upon coming to the US to take this training and completing this training, there was a turnaround of events which landed me in back to grad school where I studied healthcare informatics and I started transitioning into the IT space. Now, don't get me wrong. Those that are flying as pilots, they are, fi they are finding a fulfillment in it. Now, if these guys are not there, how would you be flying from one country to the other? Think about it. But you see, being a pilot wouldn't have aligned with my family values and goals. Being a pilot would not give me the kind of fulfillment that I'm having now doing what I'm doing. Being a pilot probably wouldn't give me the cash flow that I am seeing now while at home. I will always be out there and not being part of my children's world. You know what I mean? I don't know how those of my colleagues as pilots that are flying out there, how they are coping. But I'm sure it is the passion in flying that is keeping them there. So there were a couple of, you know, reasoning, strategizing, and brainstorming if I should stay back there. And at the time, while in the US, I did not also have the immigration privileges to start that career as a pilot, even though I completed the training. So my option was to go back to my country to fly and then pick it up from there. So again, piloting is a great career and I want you to go online and check the income of a pilot and what an agile coach is making. I want you to go do your assessment 
check it online, Google it. And I can bet you the difference is clear. And guess what? Before a pilot will be earning what an agile coach is earning, um, perhaps you should be close to retirement. I might be wrong, but I like it to go to your mind. I don't want to get you confused by, you know, popping out figures on the screen for you to get confused. But basically, that was another reason why I, need to, I, needed, I needed to transition to the IT space. The boot careers are good, but it all depends on what your priorities are. But when I checked it out, man, I needed to go with the IT space. And I'm glad I did. Listen, if I didn't go to the IT space, I wouldn't be here coaching you guys. You know what I mean? As ever, see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.